50 days inside, three days outside, we thought we'd say hi. So, hi. Hi to all of our friends, hi to all of our families. Um, hello to all of the very wonderful people who have worked so hard to make this day possible for us. Hello. It's a, we're very touched and overwhelmed. We're just getting a sense now of the incredible support that was there that came together from every corner, Canadians, people around the world, people here in Egypt, uh, to uh, make this day possible. Hmm. And hi to you as well. Oh, golly, you know, it's very difficult to, to, to be balanced when you cover this sort of garbage because I just did it very briefly a few years ago. Uh, there was a, a left-wing uh, conference, sort of fun fest in Toronto, and the Iranian government had a stall there. They were promoting their wares, you know, Holocaust and the army, misogyny, mass murder, that sort of thing, because the left rather liked them because they're anti-American. And a woman went up to the stall, and she, she smashed things and overturned it, and, and the comrades took her and said, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing? And she said, I'm Iranian, I'm a socialist, she said, and a feminist. I was held in a coffin by the Iranian government, a coffin, 23 hours a day. That was my 23 hours a day in a coffin, she said. How, you want people who have been tortured, humiliated, degraded, brutalized? These guys, they were on holiday. Adrian Batra, I'm glad, look, I'm glad they're not in prison anymore. Mm -hmm. Unless they did commit a crime, if so, they must face a punishment, right. even though they're Canadian. Yes. But th this is so over the top. It has been actually quite over the top. I've never really, I, I can't recall in, in how many years uh, this, is, this sort of thing has unfolded, where yeah. so much celebrity has gone behind, uh, again, making sure that these guys got out. And look, let's face it, I'm happy that they are home, they're coming home, and I think that's good. Um, they are Canadian citizens after all. Do mm. I agree with some of their propaganda? Do I agree with their policies? Of course I do not. Um, and I know that our, you know, our colleague here at Sun News Network, Ezra Levant, has done uh, yeoman's work in trying to expose some of this and taken on the media party who have made them their cause celeb. Because the fact is this, and it's, an, it's a valid point, there are so many other prisoners around the world in other parts of you know, different countries for you know, very serious, uh, and, and they're against very serious regimes that will do harm. To, to our citizens. What about them? That's the other side of this, this coin that I don't think that a lot of people want to talk about. Um, why these two individuals were so propelled you know, forward, probably because of you know, what they do for a living, like their, their career as a doctor and a, and a, uh, a filmmaker. But is that their career? Because but, a lot of their time seems to be devoted to actually going to demonstrations internationally. Right, but I think, I, I agree with you, but I think part of why they got the notoriety that they did mm. was simply because, well, it's a medical doctor. I mean, for heaven's sake, we can't have a medical doctor what rotting snobbery. away in an, in an Egyptian prison. Let me prison. ask you this. Uh, I, I know when we sort of have to do the, I'm glad that, you know what, let me be honest, I, I don't really care one way or the other. You know, well, there, there are so many people I care about. Look, I, I can, you know this as well as I do. You can go to parts of Toronto where there's a kid, frequently, say a black kid, has never known his father, mm -hmm. he's had nothing going for him, everything's against him, he, uh, he breaks the law. Yeah. If anyone does a, a, you know, let me, the sort of thing that Rob Ford would have done, let me try and give you a chance. Sure. The celebrities don't rally around these kids. We have people who go abroad, maybe they've made a mistake, maybe they have some drugs on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, they shouldn't, but it's not the worst thing in the world. They're put into, in, into, a, into a cellar for years on yeah. end. No one says a word. These guys apparently had equipment, drones, um, and remote control devices, generally used by terrorists, I'm mm -hmm. not saying they are, they were breaking the law. Why are they out? It, they did it in Egypt. I'm sorry, you break the law in that country, you, ha you have to face a penalty. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, the context is everything. I mean, with respect to these two individuals and, and the, and the uh, you know, examples that you gave, very legitimate um, points. Because really, what, did it, what is it that we want to be seen as a society, as a Canadian society? I think we want to be fair, we want to be just. And, and equal. That's, and equal. And equal. So you don't, you don't get a, 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 a free out-of-jail right. card if, if you're white, upper-middle class, uh, gay, have lots of connections and no movie directors. Well, but, but pre we're presupposing, though, that these, these two men are completely off the hook, too. I mean, when they are coming home, yeah. there may be other consequences yet. Like, as you said, they had that equipment for the, with the drones. They had all sorts of stuff. There are big questions that have yet to be answered. Yeah. I assume that uh, the Canadian government and our judici uh, you know, our justice officials are going to be asking them those very questions. Do you really? I'm not going to hold my breath. No, you, um, <laughs> you know where the bodies are but, buried. Uh, well, sure. But that said, uh, I think 
that um, it, it's it's a certainly been a very interesting exercise and, and a very good one for Canadians to watch this. How uh, what it takes in order for you to be thrust into the spotlight. Mm. You know, if you are doing something you know questionable and nefarious, that would frankly goes against Canadian values. Mm. Uh, and you're doing it overseas, and you're doing it under some you know the cloud of of uh, these these horrible things that were going on in Egypt at a time when when millions of people are out uh, protesting and, and, and thousands have died. A hundred uh, died that, that very demonstration. That very day. They were that's, told not to be right. part of and they said, we don't care about you, we're Canadian yeah. and, and we have money and connections, we're going to do what we want to do. Well, but they proved that they did, didn't yeah. they? They sure did. You know, you, we don't come from dissimilar backgrounds. We had to work our way up mm -hmm. through, done all sorts of jobs. I have my three weeks vacation a year. <laughs> That's it. I don't have the time. I've got bills to pay and kids to raise and things. I can't just, oh, I'm going to go out and demonstrate for a couple of... Where do they get the money? I have no idea. I, I mean, that's the, that's the incredible thing. I mean, for the vast majority of us, we are busy living. Yeah. We are busy, you know, worrying about the kids going and doing well at school, not being bullied, you know, making sure they're eating their lunch and making sure that they are becoming productive mm. members of society. That's what the vast majority of people care about and think about. But for professional protesters, this is, this is that consumes them. It's a very small part of our population, there's no doubt. But it's, it's as simplistic as it is, Michael, it's that squeaky wheel does get the grease. Mm. So those are the guys and gals that go out there you know, drum, you know, bang their drum for whatever reason. I mean, here's a more interesting story. Let's talk about Malala, who was shot yeah. by the by the Taliban. She's here in Canada. She she lives not too far from where our studio is right mm -hmm. now. I mean, that is an incredible story. Really the is. fact that she's here in, in in the GTA, that is something that Canadians should be proud of. Mm -hmm. And and you know, we're we're you know, so our friend Tark Fatah doing his best yeah. to make sure she gets the Nobel Peace Prize, which you know, who who knows if she will? I hope she does. I agree with you completely. But uh, that's the sort of stuff that we should be focusing on, not. Yeah. Not these, you know, elitist uh, filmmaker and doctors. And you notice they haven't thanked John Baird because John Baird did go to bat for them. He did. The diplomatic corps did. And Rob Ford did too. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, but I'm sure they'll be making a nice little video saying thank you to the mayor of Toronto. Oh. And to, uh, yeah, don't <laughs> hold your breath. Speaking of not holding your exactly. breath. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, my dear. My pleasure. <laughs>